Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. As you can tell, I'm finally filming in my brand new closet and I couldn't be happier. Not every video will be in here. However, today's video is perfect because we are going to be talking about five steps to picking out the most stylish outfit. And I'm telling you guys, this works every time. This is just really good information to have and I'm so excited to share it with you. So let's get started. Oh, but if you wanted to subscribe, I mean, hey, that's even better. I'll, I'll even give you a minute, I've got coffee. I've got coffee right here, so it's, it's just a red button, FYI. You good? Alrighty, so step number one is to find your foundational piece. And I don't mean a groundbreaking, amazing piece of clothing. I'm actually just talking about what you want to base your entire outfit around. So it could be as simple as a pair of jeans one day, maybe the next day it's a lace skirt, maybe it could be a blazer. You could even base your entire outfit around a fancy pair of shoes. It really doesn't matter, but depending on our mood or maybe what we're going for that day, we wanna pick one foundational piece and build around it. So for today, I'm actually going to build my entire outfit around this white pair of jeans. I know it's technically before Memorial Day. I don't really care about that. I love white jeans all year round. So let's move to step number two. Okay, well first I'm gonna actually just go ahead and put on these, these jeans here. We're gonna be getting dressed together today. This is a little bit different. I'm zipping up my pants right now. You can't see it. <laughs> Okay, so step number two is to pick your color palette. So it could be black, brown, navy, monochrome, neutrals, or pop of color. But once you decide which color palette you're going for, that will obviously affect the rest of the steps. So pay attention. Usually I would say people either prefer blacks or browns or neutrals versus color. Usually people are one or the other. So kind of just think about what you really like and you can even keep that in the back of your mind when you are shopping. There's no reason to buy things just because you think you should have a big selection. You really should only be buying what you actually like. And to be honest, it looks like my wardrobe is very colorful. I really do just like neutrals. So for today, I'm actually going for a monochromatic look, which is all one color. So since I picked white jeans, I'm going for a white top. So let's see what we have. This is perfect. I'm, I'm going to wear this. I shall put it on now. Excuse me. Turn around. And we are back. I have a top on. We've got white on top, white on bottom. It's monochromatic. So we're gonna move on to step number three, which is the secret sauce. This is the magic. This is what's going to take your outfit from good to great. The secret is to always add a piece to your outfit that you don't need at all. It's really that simple. Find something that you really don't need to wear, but add it to your outfit. Easy examples of this would be jackets, a blazer. Those are things I really, that's why I like blazers and jackets so much because it's just such an easy thing to add, but it just changes your whole look and really pulls everything together. But then you could also go for a vest. You could go for maybe a hat. I have a hat, let me get a hat. I mean, literally that just, I don't need this hat, but it, it changes it. A statement belt. Let me get a belt. I mean, let's be honest. I know these blew up, but they blew up for a reason. They make such a good statement. This is a Gucci belt, by the way. And just adding it totally elevates your look. Another really interesting example is to actually put on two shirts, layer two, Shirts, you could, for instance, put on this shirt and then throw on maybe a cami or a crop top over top. And so you're adding in something that you, I don't really need that, but it creates a layering effect. And again, totally transforms your outfit in a good way. Do something unexpected. Think about this third step. I'm telling you guys, this will transform your outfit. So I think for today's look, I am personally making my extra piece that I don't really need this really nice fur, faux fur vest, and I love it. So we shall put it on. I like it, it looks good. Step number four, accessories. So I personally love mixing my fine jewelry with some fashion jewelry. And I feel like that kind of balances out your outfit. You have a little bit of classic with trendy things that are really, really in style at this very moment, but you also have some things that 
you really love and, and really kind of mean something to you. So I have my wedding rings here. I have a few rings that are more high end that I just never take off. And then for my earrings and my necklaces, I do have a drawer of jewelry that I pull out and I will change out with every single outfit. So this is my brand new jewelry drawer. I'm so excited about it, guys. I love it so much. But I do wanna point out that this is the Shea necklace by Miranda Fry. And I think I mentioned this in another video. I don't really remember, but I did collaborate with her on this necklace and it was great. People love it. Um, I just wanted to let you know that we're actually discontinuing it because we're working on a brand new, completely different piece, but this one is on sale. So you can still use my code SHAY, save 10% on top of the sale. It works for the entire site, just FYI, but I do think I am going to be wearing it with today's outfit. Number five is to pick out your bag and shoes. And if you know me at all, you would know that this is my most favorite part. It's important to kind of do this at the same time because I really think your bag and shoes can either complement each other or just totally clash with each other. And I think that you can kind of go for one being a little more bold and noticeable, but you don't want both of them to be very bold and noticeable. And that's why I think it's great to do it at the same time. Also, I think it's really important to think of the specific occasion of your day. And I feel like people remember this when it comes to their shoes. So for example, if they're going to be walking a long distance, they know not to wear heels, but they don't really think about this as much, at least from what I see, when it comes to their bag. So for example, if you're going to a wedding, you probably shouldn't carry this really, I'll go get it. It's, it's a bag that everyone loves. Everyone loves the Louis Vuitton Neverfull. Well, at least uh, some people do, not everybody. I see this bag everywhere. I mean, it's, it's a very functional bag. I really, really like it. But if you're going to a wedding, maybe don't pick this bag. Just my opinion. Today, I am pretty much just going Actually, I'm not really going anywhere, but say, let's pretend. I'm running errands today. That is what I'm doing. So let's pick out my bag and shoes together. We started out with this outfit being totally monochromatic with white on top and white on bottom. Then I kind of moved into a more neutral color palette. So I introduced some browns and I think I'm going to kind of stick on that path. So... I think for my shoes, I'm just going to wear these basic brown beige sock boots. And then for my bag... I think I'm going to pick this Chanel neutral colored bag. It's definitely more of a pop. It has this Chanel logo with black trim on it. So it makes a statement, but it's not too overpowering at the same time. Different, yet the same. They complement each other. They like each other. And I just realized I'm not even wearing earrings. So clearly I'm not following my steps very well. Um, that's better. So this is my final and finished look. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you liked the five steps to getting here. I think it initially sounds a little bit basic, but I think each step does have some good jam-packed information that will lead you to a stylish outfit every single time. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe down below. Like I said, I would love to have you back, um, but otherwise I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.